woman takes the law into her own hands. Cell phone video shows her following a police officer and pulling him over for speeding. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live at Miami Dade Police Headquarters with a story that's just so hard to understand. Gabby? Well, Elliot, we spoke to that woman. She said she didn't post this video to personally attack the officer or the department. She was just hoping for some kind of accountability and said she thinks law enforcement should be held to a higher standard. The reason I pulled you over today? It's those dreaded words you expect to hear during a traffic stop, but this time the tables are turned. A citizen is laying down the law, and a Miami Dade police officer is on the receiving end of the reprimand. There's an officer in front of me that I've been following since Miller. Claudia Castillo says she was running an errand Friday afternoon when a squad car sped past her on the highway. The cop passed me so fast, my car shook side to side. And that's when I said, you know, damn it, you know, this is what is the emergency? And I got upset. Castillo decided to pull him over, honking and flashing her lights to get him to stop. She put her cell phone on the dash stand and started recording the pursuit, narrating along the way. He's been, you know, driving recklessly and going about 100 miles an hour because I was hitting 80 and I could not catch up to him. She followed him on the 826, then the 836, catching up and finally getting his attention near I-95. I just wanted to know what's the emergency. Um, I don't know how fast I was going, but I can tell you this. I'm on the way to work right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe I was speeding, but like I said, you're entitled to your opinion. I just saw you now when you pulled over next to me, which is why I pulled over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought you had some kind of emergency or anything. Everything fine? No, everything's fine. Yeah, it's your speeding. Okay, well, What's... I apologize, and I'll be sure to slow down then. The video went viral after Castillo posted it on YouTube, catching the department's attention. Police Director Juan Perez released a statement saying the Miami-Dade Police Department will have his immediate command staff investigate the matter once the officer and citizen are identified. The appropriate course of action will be taken at that point. And I'm sure he's a good guy, but, you know, we are nobody's above the law. And the officer did offer his name and badge number to Castillo, but she didn't take it. She says she does plan to stop by here at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters later today to drop off the unedited video as part of the investigation. Police say so far they don't believe that Castillo will be facing any reprimands or tickets for the chase. We're live from Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral. Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News. Okay.